fun day. Oh, it's really a goopy one. Getting low on sheet masks. I'm gonna have to break down and use some of those peel off ones. Ugh. <laughs> last one, I did one last week and it just didn't peel. I guess maybe I didn't leave it on long enough. I don't know, I had to end up half washing it off because it never did peel. So maybe I don't put it on thick enough, or I put it on too thick, or I don't know. Okay, where's my little roller thingy? I don't know what happened to it. I've been cleaning, but only halfway. Grandma so. Bev has been doing these Never Have I Evers, and she's got, I don't know, 150 of them or something, and I just picked out a few to do. I think she did these um, the Monday after Mother's Day, whenever that was, a couple weeks ago. So I'm going to do some of these. Some of them, are, she's a little more risque than me. Some of them I'm just like, nope, not going there. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to say never have I ever in front of every single one because you know that's what they are. Never have I ever blah, blah. <coughs> I'll say it on the first one. Never have I ever been in a talent show. Not that I can remember. Like Grandma said, Bev said, when you get our age, there's a lot of stuff that you've done in your life that it's hard to remember everything. <laughs> uh, had stitches. I've had many, many stitches. Uh tried to make an ex jealous nah if they don't want me i don't want them didn't care um driven a stick shift that's what, what i learned to drive on was a stick shift so i don't know if i could anymore it's been quite a while i'd have to brush back up but i think everybody ought to know, need how to know how to drive a stick shift in case there's some kind of emergency and you need to um <clears throat> Set something on fire while cooking. Well, I never set anything on fire, but just this week, <laughs> I was doing bacon in the oven. That's the easiest way to do it. And I'm doing this Bible study that I'm teaching, and I got involved in the Bible study. It's really interesting. It's about Esther, and um, the first chapter is like, they did a lot of background history of the actual people and happenings and stuff. So I got sucked into that and I was in my bedroom and of course it was out in the kitchen. And then I went into, I was making some iced tea and I'm like, oh, I'll probably I'll take those tea bags out. And I remembered and smelled the bacon and it was, you couldn't even tell it had been bacon. It was these little charcoal briquettes. It didn't catch on fire, but they turned into like little black briquettes. <laughs> um, set a friend up on a date. I don't remember saying a friend up on a date, but a friend of mine, when I was in high school, set me up on a blind date who eventually became my husband. <laughs> I have heard a thing for that. <laughs> um, started a hashtag. Now I've been involved in hashtags, but I haven't started one. Um... Been a scuba diving. I'm claustrophobic. I don't think I like things like right on my face, so the mask is problematic for me. You might be okay with just the snorkel part, you know, just kind of swim with, with a snorkel. I might be okay with that, but anything with a mask, uh -uh. Uh, Done a drive-by of an ex's or crush's house. Um, I never did, but I was accused of it. When I was first separated, my ex-husband was living with his girlfriend and I didn't know that I had no didn't know where they were living none of that but um we drove by going somewhere with the kids on the freeway and evidently we drove by the exit to get off into where he lived which I didn't even know the kids knew because you know they'd been to his house a few times so they told him that we had driven by his house. So he thought I was like spying on him and stuff. And I was like, no, I don't even know where you live. I just drove by on the freeway. Come on. And that was the worst thing about being divorced. Several things happened that 
he accused me of that were not in my character. I mean, like, you were married to me for 15 years. Do you really think I would be that person to do that? That was, that would hurt the most, I think, of everything is that, do you really seriously think I would be that person to do whatever it was? There were several things. I don't know. Um, let's see. Danced in the rain, yes, several times. Danced on a table. Probably in my younger days I did that. <laughs> Slept in my car. Well, not because I was homeless or anything, but just, you know, driving a long drive and you gotta take a break and you just pull over and sleep for a while to, so you don't fall asleep at the wheel, done that. Been on TV, no, not real TV, I went to Knott's Berry Farm and they would f film these little fake TV shows and put it up on a screen, but they weren't real. They were just, you know, fun thing for the audience to do. Um, had frostbite. No, I've never really lived where it's super cold. Thank goodness, don't like the cold. <laughs> I mean, I've lived places where it snows occasionally, but not one of those places like, I don't know, Minnesota or Wisconsin, one of those up north places where you get like 10 feet of snow for months on the end. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> Had a blister in sunburn many times in my youth. And because of it, I've had skin cancer three times. So you youngins, put your sunscreen on. Don't, don't get those blistering sunburns. You can end up with skin cancer. Uh, let's see, gotten sick on a date. Not that I can remember. I wasn't a drinker, even as a teenager, I never drank. So that's usually when you get sick on a date is drinking too much. Um, had food poisoning. Ah, uh, you never know for sure, but you know, I suspect I did a few times. My stomach's kind of picky anyway. I can get nauseated pretty easily. So who knows if it was food poisoning or something else. Um, Purposely giving someone bad advice. No, I wouldn't do that. That's not me. Heck of a live performance. Again, I wouldn't do that. That's not me. Had a surgery. Uh, let's see. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight surgeries. <laughs> to my age you had a lot of surgeries uh, um i look like i would never wear i mean i wouldn't in this flabby body anyway but i would never wear a bikini because i've got all these crisscross scars everywhere from here to here you know from several surgeries i uh, hit a parked car no i hit a moving car before <laughs> well they actually they hit me but they blamed it on me I still don't think it was my fault, but the insurance company said it was. Um, I don't know. In Texas, we have what's called service roads where you've got the freeway and then you've got these access roads that you pull off and drive down this road to get to whatever store or whatever you want. And the cars going down the access road would have to yield to the people coming off the freeway. Well, I was coming off the freeway and I immediately went into... A movie theater parking lot. I wasn't supposed to. You're really supposed to go up a little bit before you turn in somewhere. But I didn't because the entrance was right there. So I went off and went in. And the, this lady in this big old fancy $60,000 truck hit me. Um, just clipped me a little bit. I didn't even realize it. And so I pull out of the movie theater and she pulls and parks up next to me. And she was banging on my window. You hit me. You hit me. And I'm like, what? No, I didn't. And I, I saw her, but I thought she would yield, but evidently I was too far past the yield place, so she didn't have to yield, is what the insurance company said, but I thought she should have yielded, and I thought she was going to yield, and she didn't, and so she had this fancy fancy truck, and it was like a big old dent in my car, because she had the big old truck, but it was just like a little dip in her, her fender where she hit me. And my insurance paid like, I don't know, it was like $5,000 or something crazy like that to get her truck fixed. 
Um, let's see. Drum to rain, food closing, surgery. There we go. Uh, phone someone else a surprise party. Yes, I did one time. I had a friend turning 40. This is, and her husband and I conspired against her. And it was the whole thing was like a old lady theme where the presents she got were stuff like, um, preparation H and a cane and. Her husband rented a wheelchair and we made her sit in during the party and I mean, we thought it was hilarious that she was so old she was 40. <laughs> yeah, not so much. Um, had a surprise party thrown for you. Um, closest I had to that was the family was taking me out for my birthday to Red Lobster's, my favorite. And when we went in to get a table, there was already a table set up and several friends were there too. So. So that was kind of like a, like a surprise party. It was like a more people than I expected at dinner. <laughs> um, adjusted myself in public. Yeah, sometimes you get those wedgies going and you got to kind of like get rid of the wedgie. <laughs> I don't know how people wear thongs. Ugh, that would just irritate the tar out of me. Guys do it all the time. They adjust the, the front business in public. They don't care. <laughs> Gone commando. Oh, yeah. Like sometimes it's like you go to the beach or something and you forget your underwear. And after you get out of your swimsuit, you got to kind of go commando till you get home. That kind of thing. But not leaving the house. I never did. But sometimes out somewhere and you forgot to bring it. Like at the gym, I did water aerobics. That happened more than once. I did water aerobics and then I'd bring clothes to change into. Well, I usually wear them over my swimsuit, like shorts and a t-shirt or whatever, over my swimsuit, and then I'd take them off and put them in the locker and go swim, and then I'd come back to put the shorts and t-shirt on and realize, oops, forgot underwear. <laughs> One time I forgot both pieces of underwear. I had to go to the store and get something, and so I'm like, and I zipped back and got what I needed and zip, went through the self-checkout and got in and out of there quick because you could totally see the girls. <laughs> um, yeah. Worn a wig or extensions? No, I tried a blonde wig on once just for fun and with my dark eyebrows and dark complexion, dark eyes and everything, I looked terrible and blonde. It's just, no, not me. I'm okay as a redhead, dark, like a dark redhead, like an auburn. And then of course my, my hair when I was younger was totally black. Now it's, you know, it's pretty dark brown, but it was like this color almost when I was younger. But it's faded a little bit, but it's, I still don't have a ton of gray, amazingly since I'm 71. <laughs> I've uh, been dumpster diving. Well, not climbing in, getting stuff out, but if you s s seen something on top that was intriguing, I'd go look at it. Or somebody'd set a piece of furniture out in front of a dumpster, and I'm like, I could use that, that kind of thing. But see, when I was younger and you're putting together a, an apartment or something and you got no money, then you look for people setting out stuff they're just giving away, getting rid of. I have a funny, fun story about that. I had my kids in the car on a trash day and we're going down our street or street next to our street. We lived on a court and they're like, stop the car, stop the car. And I'm like, what? And I saw so I stop and I thought they were going to get sick or something. And they go barreling out of the car and come back with this bear that had to be six feet tall, this big old stuffed bear, and threw it in the back of the car because somebody had it out in the trash. And it was just so big and took up so much room and they shared a bedroom. So there was not a lot of room. <laughs> um, it lasted about a week in our house and we put it out in, in our trash. And we watched that bear move around the neighborhood week by week. Somebody would take it, last about a week. They'd put it out in the trash, somebody else would take it. And that bear just kept moving around the neighborhood. Everybody kept thinking they wanted it. And then they'd get it in and realize, no, it's just too big. We don't want it. It was funny watching that thing slowly around the neighborhood. Um, let's see, broken a bone. Um, only bone I ever broke bone I ever broke was one of my toes. It was like like that, and it's still. I've got what I call live live long and prosper toes. It's still like this, where this toe that I broke is like 
over here like this. <laughs> um, if you don't know what live long and prosper is, it's the Spock would do this symbol. <laughs> Um, return something after I wore it. Not wore it out in public. Try it on at home, yeah, but not wore it out in public. Like for, you know, get an expensive dress, wear it to a party, come home, put the tags back on, take it back to the store. No, not that. Been in a helicopter. No, but I worked for the last job I had before I um, went out on disability was a helicopter company. So I helped make helicopters. But I never went in one. <laughs> oh, that's the whole list. That went fast. Oh, I forgot to look when I started. Oh, I always forget. It's on my phone. It's been 16 minutes. That's long enough. Oh, I forgot to show you what this is. It's melatonin and lavender. Melatonin and lavender are both help, supposed to help you sleep. I should have done this at night. <laughs> help me. Help me sleep. I don't. Um, about once a month. And it was a couple nights ago this time. I cannot get to sleep the whole night. I just just can't sleep. So, you know, you lay there for a while thinking, oh, I'm going to go sleep. And finally, after two or three hours, you're like, oh, I give up. And I just would like read a book or watch TV or whatever because it just wasn't happening. I didn't want to get up and, you know, do anything around the house because everybody else is asleep. But, uh, yeah. And usually I'm, I'm a total night owl. I usually don't go to sleep before like one o'clock. And then I'll wake up, depending on what I'm doing that day, usually around nine, if I don't have to go somewhere to do something. So, you know, I'm still getting seven hours sleep. I'm just getting them at the other end than most people. <laughs> uh, so, happy Mask Monday. Um, I'll try and steal some more of these from Grandma Bev if you enjoy them. I um, think she's so far done over a hundred of them, so I'm sure I can go back and find some more that she did. And steal them from her. I think uh, Kimmy from Kimmy's Boxes did some too that she stole from Grandma Bev. I don't know where Grandma Bev got them. Probably looked them up on the internet or something. Oh, I woke up this morning and my hair was... It's like for some reason it's all like kinky. I didn't have it in a in a tie or anything. It just got kind of crazy. It's getting, getting there. I want these bangs to be down maybe to here and then it'll be all one length, which is what I'm looking for. It's getting close to being all one length. It was longer in the back, but she cut it so that it would be close to all one length. Probably next time I go, these will be, because I don't go, but every three or four months, these will be down to here and then I can get it all one length and keep it that way. I have on, I just have on a t-shirt, but I have on my leggings I got with the polka dots that I haven't worn because they're like capri length leggings, but I finally can wear my polka dot leggings. They've got white, turquoise, pink, green, lime green, and beige polka dots on them. <laughs> Oopsie. Aren't they cute? <laughs> and then just a plain old charcoal grayish t-shirt um i'm not sure what i'm doing this week and of course next week i'm gonna be gone on my little um i'll take you with me and i did last time but i'll take you with me and film some i don't think the people that i'm going with want to be filmed but i can when they're not around i can film what they're working on so you can see what they're doing and what i'm doing we're doing some we're all doing different stuff i think out of the four of us, three of us are going to do watercoloring cards. Um, did I show you the one I made? I don't remember. I went to that watercolor class and I made a card. I should go get it and show you. I will. Okay, here's the one I did from that watercolor class I did on last Friday. It's like a Tuscan village. I'm not very good at it, but I'm getting a little better. So I'll probably do that, maybe do some crocheting. My granddaughter's, I think, gonna make some jewelry. She's making this, she's really into like recycling, reuse and all that kind of stuff, environment stuff. And uh, she's taking these white and red like Target type bags. 
she's cutting them into strips tying them together and then she's crocheting them into it's going to be like a book bag like a long strap and then the bag's about yay big so you fit books in so she's recycling some of the trash bags that we get from target we may run out of the white and red ones but we'll see if she gets gets done so she's got the flat bottom about yay big and then you know building up the sides and then she'll do the strap somehow so i can't wait so far it looks really good i can't wait to see the whole thing finished so she'll probably work on that because it's slow going you know you got to cut up the bags and tie them together and do the crocheting and all that something i thought about making but i don't know where we'd put it but i've seen it before it's a Remember macrame, you are old like me, back in the 60s, we macrame pot holders and stuff. I saw this YouTube video where they macrame this fruit sling where you'd hook it under your cabinets like a little hammock almost and you'd put your fruit in it so it's off the counter and gives you more space. So, I don't know, I might, get, might try some macrame. I haven't done macrame in a really long time. I don't know what I'd do with it, but... If I could do it tight enough, I could make a, a basket to, you know, I mean, a bag to put food in, bring it to and from, you know, home from the grocery store and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. But I don't know what's coming up this week. Oh, doggy wants to leave. <laughs> he was hiding in here because of the vacuum cleaner, but he's good now. He wants to leave. <laughs> Alrighty, I will see you later this week. Not sure why, how, when, but we'll see you.